EADD in full is East Africa Dairy Development Project. And it is in Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. We are now in EADD phase two. And the main focus is a, a farmer's access to market and increase of productivity. And increasing productivity, there are issues of breeding. However, here we are going to talk about feeding of the dairy cow. Feeding is important because 80 percent, close to 80 percent of uh, the, the, the total cost of production is actually taken by feeds. And uh, if a farmer feeds the cattle well, the cow well, they'll be able to, in, in, to utilize the potential of the cow and increase their income, which is one of the outcomes of EADD, that is uh, to increase some farmer sustainability. These are the type of forages that we are promoting in EADD are forages that uh, farmers can plant on their farm and lower the cost of production. We have the basal feeds. The Rhodes grass is a basal feed, it's one of the basal feeds. And uh, we, we encourage farmers to establish and conserve the feed to address the dry season. Focus on dry season feeding because during the dry season is when the milk prices are lucrative and the farmer can be able to get enough, like to get a higher income. The sun is a source of protein. We also encourage farmers to plant uh, protein sources on their farm so that they can reduce the cost of uh, buying dairy milk. And they can also, farmers can also conserve the lusan. This is lusan hay. Dry it and conserve it. For the shrubs, uh, they used to breed the protein cup. Farmers can establish on their farm as a hedge and feed their dairy at all. They can also cut the leaves and uh, preserve as leaf meal for use during the dry season. Still on uh, basal feed, we have sorghums. Columbus grass is in, in, a, in, a, in a family of sorghums. We're also promoting that. A farmer would uh, establish that and also can be able to conserve and use. We also have yellow maize. Yellow maize is a type of uh, basal feed that has high dry matter. A farmer would establish that, harvest when it, it is uh, the milk stage and conserve as silage. So there are two conservation methods. One for the dry feed is the hay, and uh, for the, the ones that have moisture, a lot of moisture, we promote silage making. Now, we also encourage like, train farmers how to use uh, concentrates like dairy. These are high in energy and high in protein. One of the challenges that the farmers encounter in feeding is one, the quality of the feed. It is not like when it comes to concentrates, they are not assured of the quality. And for that reason is why we encourage farmers to plant especially the protein sources on their farms, the fodder shrubs, the desmodiums and the sun. So we're also training them on how to feed budgeting, budget and plant enough and conserve for their life. So we're encouraging them to like have a variety like uh, feed resources, to have many feed resources on their farm so that they can have a fallback fallback pressure. Hay can be pulverized, chopped into using a pulverizer to make it palatable so that it can even mix with others. Depia grass can also be chopped using a panga or a chaff cutter. Simple processing methods that can make the feed palatable and also avoid wastage in the farm. And there are some feeds like uh, nepia, it is, it is good to wield them to wield them uh, to reduce the, the water content before feeding because it is low when it is fresh it is low in it is low in dry matter content. All these are the interventions that uh, we have been uh, doing with farmers on feeding. During ADD1 the baseline survey showed that uh, farmers were doing an average of uh, close to 3.5 liters per cow per day. But as we went to the end of project report that is uh, 2000 and, uh, 2012, we, there was an increase in production, there was an increase in productivity per cow, and uh, it was an average of about eight, eight, slightly about eight liters per cow per day. So we've seen that actually these interventions work. Proper feeding of the cow, conserving of the feeds, that is what really will increase the farmer income and at least uh, make dairy farming as a business.